Adjectives. I love to eat red, juicy apples. They are sweet, crisp, and healthy. I just used a lot of words to describe this apple: red, juicy, sweet, crisp, and healthy. Do you know what we call those words? We call those words adjectives. What is the job of an adjective? The job of an adjective is to describe a noun, and in this case, the noun is apple. Did you know that adjectives are very hard workers, and that in fact they have more than one job? Today. We're going to talk about what those other jobs are, and by the time we're done, you're going to be an adjective expert. Limiting adjective. Take a look at this sentence. Don't eat those cookies. There is an adjective in this sentence. Can you find it? It's tricky, I know, but I promise it's in there. Someone doesn't want us to eat certain cookies. Are they telling us not to eat any cookies ever? No, of course not. They're telling us not to eat those cookies. Even though the word "those" is not really describing the word "cookies." It is an adjective because it's giving information about a noun, and in this case, cookies. The word "those" is telling us which cookies to limit our attention to. We call this a limiting adjective. If I show you this bowl of fruit and say, "Don't eat apples," is that the same as if I point to the apple with the worm and say, "Don't eat that apple"? How are those two statements different? What did the word "that" do in the second statement? If I say, "Don't eat apples." You may think that I'm telling you to never eat another apple again, but if I say "Don't eat that apple," well, you know that I'm telling you not to eat one specific apple. Phew, that's good because apples are delicious. The word "that" limited our attention to a specific apple. When we see words like every, that, those, some, and this before a noun, it's like we're looking through a pair of special glasses that limit our attention to a specific noun. Comparative adjective. Jenny and Becca are tall girls. What is the adjective in this sentence, and what is it describing? That's right. The adjective is tall, and it's describing Jenny and Becca. Remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. So Jenny and Becca are our nouns. Let's take a look at another sentence. Becca is taller. What is the adjective in this sentence, and what is it describing? In this sentence, 
The word taller is an adjective, and it's describing Becca. At the same time, it is performing another job. By adding the suffix er, we've given the word taller a second job, and that is to compare two nouns. What is the word taller comparing? That's right. The word taller is comparing Jenny and Becca. Becca is taller than Jenny. We call an adjective like taller a comparative adjective. I'm going to write a sentence. Cheetahs and rabbits are fast. I just used the adjective fast to describe cheetahs and rabbits, but now I want to compare them. Cheetahs are dash than rabbits. How can we make the adjective fast a comparative adjective and complete the sentence? We can add the suffix. Er to the word fast and make it faster. Cheetahs are faster than rabbits. The word faster compares cheetahs and rabbits. Here, faster is a comparative adjective. Let's look at another sentence. That turtle is slower than the other turtles. Help me find the adjectives. First adjective is that. What kind of adjective is that? If you said limiting adjective, you're correct. The word that is limiting our attention to one specific turtle. What other adjectives do you see? Did you say slower? Yes, slower is an adjective because it describes that turtle. What kind of adjective is slower? Yes, slower is a comparative adjective. What is slower comparing? The word slower is comparing that turtle to the other turtles. Can you find one more adjective? It's a tricky one, so take your time. If you said other, you're correct. Nice job. What kind of adjective is other? A limiting adjective. Think about how much information these adjectives gave us. Close your eyes and picture this sentence while I read it aloud. That turtle is slower than the other turtles. Do you see how the words that, slower, and other helped us to understand what the author of the sentence wants us to know? Superlative adjective. Like I said, adjectives are very busy, but there is still one more job for them that we're going to talk about today. Let's read this sentence. John, Maggie, and Liz are all silly in gym class, but Maggie is the silliest. Let's first take a look at our adjectives. And underline them. Silly is the one. Who is silly? John, Maggie, and Liz are silly. Let's circle their names. Remember, adjectives describe nouns. What are our nouns in this sentence? 
John, Maggie, and Liz. We have three nouns. Okay, are there any other adjectives? Yes, silliest is an adjective. What kind of adjective is silliest? Is it comparative? Not really. It is not comparing two nouns. Think about what we know about Maggie. Is she just sillier than John, or just sillier than Liz? No, she is sillier than all of them because she is the silliest. Maggie is the most silly. Silliest is called a superlative adjective. Superlative is a tricky word, but think of it this way: the word super is in superlative. That means that something is super or the most of whatever adjective we're using. When you add the est suffix to an adjective, the noun being described becomes the most of whatever adjective. Is being used to describe it. Think of it like this: How can we use our adjectives to correctly describe these trees? Help me to decide where they go. The word tallest should go to the tree that is most tall. We can use the word taller for this tree because it is taller than one tree, but it is not taller than all of the trees. The word tall can be used to describe our last tree because although it is tall, it is not taller than either of the other two trees. Today we have learned about three jobs that adjectives can do besides just describing a noun. Limiting adjectives limit our attention to one specific noun. For example, make your bed every morning. The word "every" is important because it tells us not to limit our attention to just Sundays or Wednesdays. You must make your bed every morning. A comparative adjective compares two or more nouns. For example, my brother gets angry when I borrow his toys. But he gets angrier when I break them. The word "angrier" helps to compare how the author's brother feels in two different situations. The superlative adjective is used to describe a noun that is the most of whatever adjective is being used to describe it. John. Maggie and Liz are all silly in gym class, but Maggie is the silliest. If you're describing something like the silliest, the grossest, or the biggest, the superlative adjective is your guy.